Hey guys, Professor Yerby here. I wanted to quickly uh, walk through uh, the structure of the course and how to use the online rooms, uh, i.e. collaborate. Uh, so first, be sure that you read the uh, Welcome to iTech and the Read Me First. So it kind of gives you some overview of how the course structure is going to work, when we're going to meet, and we'll be meeting online. The same information can be found in the course syllabus. So if you open the syllabus, you should see in section six where we'll have our online meetings. So that'll be the 19th, the 2nd, the 1st, and the 5th. All right. And then so next you're saying, well, how do we how do we meet online? Great question. So what you'll want to do is go to course tools and then go to online room and you should see this schedule of our meetings so you'll see this last room called always open uh, I'll, what I'll do is I'll keep this room open throughout the semester so if you need to meet with anyone in the class uh, to go online and either video or voice chat or share a whiteboard or share your web page that you're looking at uh, this is a great tool that's open for you to do this uh, so you see the word join and a link here so this room is open currently that's why this join is here when the date approaches that we will have our online meetings you'll see the same join uh, available so we'll go ahead and click join and if you have not used collaborate before uh, there will be some software that you'll have to download it probably takes about uh, about three to five minutes to get everything downloaded and installed. What it is is a Blackboard Collaborate Launcher. So once you have that installed, when you click download, it'll download this little Java file. So this is what actually launches me into the, the online room. So I'll go ahead and click this. And what it does is it starts the, the application, brings me into the online room. And it'll give you a security warning. Hey, do you want to go in here? I do. Then once you get into Collaborate, the first thing that I would recommend you do is go to the Audio Setup Wizard. To get to the Audio Setup Wizard, you're going to go Tools, Audio, and then Audio Setup Wizard. What this is going to do is it's going to walk you through to make sure that your microphone and speakers are working correctly. Uh, without your microphone and speakers uh, working, then you will not be able to hear or speak. Um, after that, there's several things in here for you to to work with, depending on if, if you're a moderator or not. So in the always open room, you'll have access to all of the tools. Uh, and the scheduled class meetings uh, you'll be in there as a user and so you won't have uh, all of the tools that you see here you won't have the ability to uh, take us on a uh, application sharing or a web tour I can grant you temporary permissions if we're doing something where you're presenting or you have a question about something and you want to show your screen to the class then we can do that um, and then other things in here you'll be able to see who's in the room you have things here uh, that you can show your approval or disapproval or confusion uh, while someone's presenting. So if someone says something you want to you know, show approve, then that little thumbs up will go under your hand. If you have a question while someone is in the middle of speaking and you don't want to interrupt them with your voice or the microphone's not available, then you can raise your hand virtually. So you just click this raise hand. And what that do will do is, uh, if I wasn't raising my own hand, I would have heard a ding. If I want to ask yes or no questions to everyone in the class, um, there's this little polling thing just to get a sense of uh, people's responses to make sure you're, you know, they're paying attention. So I say, do you like ice cream? And then you say yes or no. And then so I'll see a tally of how many votes for yes and then I'll be able to scroll through 
the list of users to see who has the green check mark versus the, the red X. And then I can clear those responses. All right. And then if you need to step away for some reason, maybe it's before class begins, but you want to go ahead and log in, um, you can just do this. And that way, whoever's presenting will know that, yes, you are connected to the room, but you've stepped away from your computer for a moment. Alrighty, and then at the bottom, there's a chat function, and I think that's the main things. You can do this from a mobile phone, but it's not, uh, it's usually not the best quality. It's best to do this from a high-speed, dedicated computer, uh, but there is a mobile app for uh, Apple and Android, so, yep. And then if you want to share your video, you just click the video. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm using my video uh, camera to record this uh, Camtasia video. So thanks. Hope this has been helpful. And I will see you on our next scheduled class. Thanks.